this is Leech83, how are we doing? Welcome back to Forever Celtic, this is episode 21. If you're new to the series then check out the links in the description which will take you back to the series playlist and you can have a little look through that at your leisure. Um, now, the last episode we done was episode 20 which was just an update to let you know it was coming back as soon as we could um, and now we are in a position to bring it back. The last full episode we did was episode 19 and from that episode we had 11 upgrade points left which we could use to strengthen the squad. So what I've done is swap uh, Mackay, Stephen and uh, Sean Maloney and just swap their positions round. Um, and what I'm going to do is use three points to take Sean Maloney out of the team and to bring in Aidan McGeady. That will cost three upgrade points, um, which gives us eight left. And we'll use another one by taking out Dedrick Boyata and we will bring in, in his place, Eric Savyachenko. Um, who's just recently joined the club and becomes our second highest rated centre back for the club um, or for the team that we can possibly use, him and Van Dijk so um, that basically completes the full back line so we've got the, this five here um, Forrester and Lustig, Van Dijk, uh, Savierchenko and Inform Izagiri as our best possible back five that we can get at this moment in time um, Eddie McGeady Victor Wanyama, um, Henry Larson and Robbie Keane are the next, like they are, the four positions are all the final positions as well, so we have only got two upgrades left to do, um, and being a fact we've only used four points, we've got seven upgrade points left to use um, for the team, so what we need to do is jump into a game and see if we can add to those seven, um, because the next change um, is 16 points and then after the one that's 16 points is 12 points we need 28 points in total to be able to finish the series off completely um, which isn't too bad to really consider um, how far away we were when we started and what we've came through and we've had some hidings in the, in the past we've had some terrible results and then we've had some miraculous results as well it's been quite enjoyable I've enjoyed the series and my plan is after this series is finished is to start a new forever um, but this time we'll be going with another team I'm yet to decide what team it's going to be but if you've got any particular suggestions over what you would like to see then leave a comment down below which one you would like to see um, obviously I want to do something a wee bit different a wee bit out there um, but I'd like, I've enjoyed this series so to do this again for another couple would be ideal um, so let's get into another game then and see if we can add two those upgrade points and see if we can obviously work our way to getting the two final uh, members of the team put in place. Um, so we'll just be uh, playing in foot divisions as always and we'll search for opponent now and hopefully we can get somebody um, that we can get a game against um, and hopefully everything goes okay and um, as I say just add to the points more than anything else. Um, with the seven upgrade points we've got just now we're in a good standing so a good victory, a good couple of goals and that sets us right on the way um, to getting um, as I say those final upgrades put through so let's go into this game here let's see what we're up against okay um, that is up front oh what's his name again I can't remember his name he used to be sweaty as anything he'd been recently upgraded to gold um, and he's now um, Muriel isn't it Muriel up front there as well and it's a nice looking Serie A team. So let's see how we go in this one. As I say, just want to get some points Got going in. If Kyle Stevens running out wide. Nice scoop into the box. Well, one back. Robbie Keane. Robbie Keane. Oh, he's last at home. It's 1 0. Oh, that's a brilliant recovery there. And Robbie Keane has managed to tuck it away in the end. Well, one back by Izagiri. And that will do nicely, it's 1-0. Wanyama, finding Henrik. Henrik Larson! Oh, that's too easy. It's far too easy. Henrik, the king, makes it two. And we are well on our way to get another upgrade for this team. Cordero hits the post and it's in off the bar and we get made to look a fool there by Cordero and the shot should have been in first time but Alexis Sanchez picks it up for a rebound and it's too Oh 
Oh, terrible defending again, and we've lost it. Oh, we've not lost the game. We've lost the lead, and it's 2 all right at the death. Just terrible defending. It's cost us so many times, and it's cost us again in this one. Ridiculous defending. Well, disappointed to lose that lead after being two up for so long. Um, just bad defending at the end of the, end of the game, and we were knackered, we were dead on our feet. Just couldn't keep up with the pace of the game, and that's just how it goes. Sometimes you win some, you lose some, you draw some. Um, so we had um, seven upgrade points left, and we get two points for the two goals, which gives us nine, and we get one point for the draw, which gives us ten, which is unfortunately not enough for the points that we need. Um, so we will need to get into another game and hopefully we can add to that tally. Okay, here we go with game number two of the episode. Let's see what we're up against in this one. And let's see if we can add to the ten upgrade points that we already have just now. Um, as I said, just a couple to go before we get our next upgrade for the team. So we definitely want to try and get this done in this one anyway. This is a nice Bundesliga team. Obama Yang and Muller up front. Uh, Vidal in there as well, it's a very, very strong squad. It will be tough to break down. Let's hope for we can get some luck. Let's see how it goes. Keen finding Brown. In turn finding Larson. Henrik. Henrik Larson! Oh, it's too easy. The King won't miss for there. And it's 1 0. Up against a very, very strong steam. We do need to stay strong at the back in this one. That's a nice early lead, 1-0. That's got to be offside. It's not offside. Oh, I thought it, uh, surely it was offside. Muller seemed to be in acres and acres of space and the ball's passed across the box and it's Mario Goza and it's 1-0. Nikita looking for Mackay Stevens, not falling for him. They're headed and bubbling about. It's Banyama! Oh, Victor Banyama! I don't actually know how it got to him. The ball was bobbling around all over the place. Mackay Stevens tried an attempted shot, bounced off the defenders, and Banyama thought he was going miles over, but makes it 2 1. Mario Goats on the attack, he's got space to run into. Oh, again, we just stand off them. Cruiser puts the ball through, and it's Obama Yang making it 2 0. Oh, in fact, it's Vidal making it 2 0, sorry. Well, that was a very good game all in, and it's a 2 0 draw once again. And this time it was a little bit more hard fought. Um, opponent had a lot of chances, um, a lot of shots on target, as you can see. And we basically kind of weathered the storm for a little bit but I'll definitely take it so it's another three upgrade points two for the two goals one for the draw uh, which now gives us 13 points and we can now make another change to the team and put in um, another final member of the squad so let's get that done just now okay so with those 13 upgrade points we will now use 12 of them and that is to take out Scott Brown and um, Scott Brown has been like the perfect servant as always, club captain, and he's been with the team for a little while now. Um, so we're just going to take him out, swapped him, just put him on the bench just now. And we now put in um, another member of the final team. And that member will be Robbie, uh, Robbie, <laughs> Roy Keane. Um, 88 rated, pack pulled, um, not used them yet. I've been holding him back for this, this series. Um, and he will fit into that midfield position very nicely. 71 pace, 71 shooting, 81 passing, 78 dribbling, 86 defending and 90 physical. Um, looks a proper good card, so we'll need to have a, a little see how he performs in the team. So we'll put him in there instead of Scott Brown. Uh, that leaves us with one upgrade point left. The only upgrade that's left for the team is to bring in Freddie Lundberg. Freddie Lundberg will be getting swapped in for um, Gary Mackay Stephen, but to do that we require 16 points, so we need another 15 points to be able to do that. So what I'm going to do is change the formation to a straight 442 and um, to get rid of the 41212 thing. Um, and that will give us this team here. So this is 
basically how we see it um, as finishing. It's only Freddy Lundberg who will come in. I know he's normally meant to be right mid, but we'll be bringing him in at a left mid um, and he will fit in there perfectly fine. So this will be the, um, almost the completed team. Um, a little jiggery pokery with the chemistry and what have you and we should be we should be doing okay. Um, but yeah, that's basically how it's going to be. So, it's another legend in the team. One more to go. Really good progress. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to end this episode here. Uh, we'll just keep it at two games in this one. And what we'll do is we'll bring back the next episode. We'll try and work to get in those 15 upgrade points that we need. And once we've got that, that'll basically be us done. Um, and we'll play a couple of games with the full completed team after that just to see how they perform. Um, but that's where I will, what's that's the plan for the future. So we'll do another two episodes at least, maybe even three depending on how the results go in the next one. Um, I'll try and compress it a little bit more. But we're back, we've got the series back up and running. Um, apologies it's took so long to do it, but you know what, how things go. Um, you know the situation as I explained before. But nonetheless, I'll end this here. Thank you very much for the support. I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.